check it out. This is the Runcam Thumb Pro. This is one of the few naked style cameras that I've tested out that I really feel like is giving naked GoPros a run for their money. This thing is half the weight, half the size, films in 4K, and is selling for only 90 bucks. So before we start going over any stats on this camera, let's do a quick unboxing and see what you get in the box. So first off, you get the camera, you got a little piece of lens protection right there to protect it during shipping. So there's the camera. Underneath that, we have a cable to connect it to a computer. So like we get a manual and some cables and a 3D print. So this looks like just a universal mount. It's nice that they include that. And then this is just a 3D printed case to hold it. Then we also have two power cables. So this camera doesn't have a battery on board, so you're gonna have to wire it up to your drone. So they include these little power cables. You get two of them. And then just some hardware so you can secure this universal mount to a drone. So this is the Runcam Thumb Pro. It's a 4K, 16 gram action camera that's meant for smaller FPV drones and Cinewhoops. I use naked GoPros like this Naked Hero 8 on my Cinewhoops for a lot of the residential real estate projects that I get. And I have yet to really come across a camera that could be an alternative to my naked GoPros when I'm filming a project. This Runcam Thumb Pro is definitely a contender though. If you're watching this video, you probably already know what a naked GoPro is, but in case you don't, it's basically a GoPro that's gutted. You take out the parts you don't need to save weight, the screen, USB connectors, the battery, all of that unnecessary stuff that just adds weight. In the end, you're left with the main board and a lens and you can power it all right off the battery that's on your drone. The main reason we do this is to save weight. So Runcam pretty much took this concept and put it into the Thumb Pro, and it's very similar, but I think that the overall design of this versus a naked GoPro is gonna be a lot more durable. With a naked GoPro, you don't have any lens protection. It's kind of just in this 3D printed case, um, and it's not really protected. In a crash, this could very easily break. But with the Runcam Thumb Pro, it's in its own case. It's plastic, it's hard plastic. Um, you have a little lens cover that's on here, so you're gonna protect the actual camera. And overall, it's just a much better design than a naked GoPro like this. I think the biggest thing that's going for this camera is that it films in 4K and it has onboard gyro data. Since the camera puts gyro data into the video file, you'll be able to run this footage through a stabilization program like Gyroflow and get some pretty nice cinematic results. I do really like the overall design of this. It's a lot more compact and aerodynamic than a naked GoPro. I love that they've given it this removable lens cover since usually this is what will get damaged in a crash. Um, this cover fits on just like that. It just twists a little bit and clicks on. You can also get ND filters for this camera and they are pretty much just replacement lens covers with ND8, ND16, and ND32 filters on them. Um, ND filters are great for giving your footage a more cinematic look because they add motion blur. So these would literally just click on the exact same way that that cover clicks on. Take this one off, put on your ND filter, and you're good to go. So just kind of taking a quick look at the overall design of this, you got the lens right here, you have a button right here that's for the shutter or uh, changing modes. Right here you have a USB connector to connect to the computer. This is the port that's gonna connect to your drone. And then right here is where you'll put your micro SD card and that's not included, so you'll have to get that separately. Um, but your micro SD card goes in there. So much like a naked GoPro, this camera has no battery or a screen. So this is gonna have to be powered directly off of your drone battery, or you'll have to connect one of these cables um, to your flight controller in order to power the camera. To make this easier to swap this camera between drones and avoid putting these cables on all of my Cinewhoops, um, I made a little adapter with some spare XT30 connectors. This is the iFlight balance plug that outputs five volts when plugged into a LiPo. This pretty much connects to your balance lead on your LiPo. And this originally had the USB-C connector on the other end, and I do use this for GoPros. Um, but basically I wanted to take this five volt source and be able to use it with this camera. Joshua Bardwell has an awesome video on this. I'm not gonna go into how to make this cable. Um, I'll leave a link to his video down in the description. But basically I was gonna do that, but I do actually use this for my GoPro, so I want to still be able to use it. And I have a bunch of XT30 connectors. So now pretty much anytime I have a camera like this that requires a five volt source, I can make one of these cables for it. And then I can just basically power it right off of my balance lead. 
If you do choose to power this off of your flight controller, make sure that you are using a five volt source because that's what this camera requires. You can also hook up these other two wires, the white and green wires, to any available UART that's on your flight controller and you'll be able to record using a switch on your controller. So as far as the screen goes on this thing, obviously it doesn't have one. Um, the camera settings are completely controlled through the RunCam app. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this since it's a pretty straightforward app to use, but in this app, you select your camera, you go to QR configuration, and in here you have full manual control over the white balance, the shutter speed, ISO, frame rate, resolution, all that good stuff. It generates a QR code with the settings, and then you just put the QR code in front of the lens. You click the button in the front of the camera twice, and then it'll scan the barcode and it'll change the settings. It's pretty cool. This camera records in 4K 30 FPS, 4K 25 FPS. It also records in 2.7K 60 and 50 FPS, and 1080 in 120 and 60 FPS. I usually film everything in 4K, so all the footage that you're gonna see me post from this thing will be in 4K 30. All right, let's get to some flight footage. I was originally gonna just have standalone flight footage with this camera, but I was so impressed with the overall quality of it that I decided to actually do a little side-by-side -side with my GoPro 8. I'm not gonna tell you which one is which until the end of the video. Naked Hero 8s are what I use the most for my interior drone tours, and I wanted to just see how well it can compete with that. Just kind of watch the footage and you can decide which one you like more, which one looks better. To keep the comparison fair, I put the GoPro in 4K 30 and 16.9 and both are using pretty much the same camera settings. Usually on my GoPro Hero 8, I use 4x3 because I use real steady or gyro flow stabilization and you just get a better image. Um, but since this one isn't capable of 4.3, this one only has a 16.9 sensor on it, I'm putting this one in 16.9 just to keep it fair. Both of the clips you're about to see are stabilized through gyro flow, were filmed in flat color and have no color grading. So there you go guys, the RunCam Thumb Pro. I am extremely impressed with the image quality on this thing and I really hope that RunCam is able to come out with similar action cameras in this form factor in the future. Um, there are only really two things that I wish that this camera could do and that's record in 4K in 4x3 as opposed to just 16.9 um, and it would be nice if there was a way to connect this to the RunCam app and see what the camera sees. This would make it 10 times easier to change the settings. When I was getting the settings on this for the indoor flight, I had to record a little bit, change the settings, record a little bit, change the settings, record a little bit, just to get an idea of what the best settings are. All in all though, 90 bucks, solid 4K image, capable of gyro flow stabilization. The thing weighs 16 grams. Actually, let's see how much this weighs compared to my Naked Hero 8. I actually have no idea how much my Naked Hero 8 weighs. So this, as advertised as weighing 16 grams, 16, 17, 16, 17 grams. And then my Naked Hero 8 is 30 grams. So 
this is almost half the weight. So yeah, very happy with this camera. I will definitely be using this in future videos. If you want a naked GoPro, but don't feel like stripping one down or don't feel like risking taking a GoPro apart or dropping $400 or whatever on a GoPro Bones, I would definitely recommend checking this camera out. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and if you have any questions about the Runcam Thumb Pro, leave a comment down below. Also, do you guys like this background? I just got this the other day from RDQ. Shout out to RDQ. This thing's sick and I feel like it's giving my video a little bit more contrast. Does this look good? Yeah, that looks good. I like that.